This video is sponsored by Fiverr. Hello friends. Today I have a new project for you using photos of myself that I created in the past. <laughs> I hired someone to edit them. I've spoken many times about the editing process being my least favorite part of photography. It's, it's not that I don't like it, it's, it's just not my favorite part. <laughs> As a result, I keep my edits relatively minimal. And for my style of portraits, where I'm trying to tell a story, they could often use more time in editing than I am willing to put in. So I've long considered hiring an editor, someone who edits my photos for me, at least for the more time consuming projects. You know, either because there are a lot of photos or where the editing is more intensive. But finding someone always seemed like a daunting task and really I'm protective of my work. I have a vision in mind and I don't like the idea of releasing control to someone else. But this project with Fiverr has actually helped me see the light. Hiring a freelancer from Fiverr is actually really easy and it's a way for me to get to that finished product that I envision without me sitting here at my computer trying to, for example, figure out how to smooth out my skin so that it still looks real. There are people that specialize in that <laughs> and we are able to utilize the skills that they spent so much time developing and we can focus on the part of the process that we love the most. Like I said, today's video is sponsored by Fiverr. Fiverr is an online marketplace that connects freelancers in all kinds of different categories from website design to coding to language translation to photo editing. If you need something done that can be done in an online transaction, you'll probably find it. <laughs> And this isn't the first time that we've worked with Fiverr. A couple of months ago, I released a video where I shared how I worked with a Fiverr freelancer who was a graphic designer to help us finalize our rebrand of this channel by creating a logo and a YouTube channel banner for us. I will link to that video in the description of this video so you can see that entire process if you'd like. And I will also include an affiliate link directly to Fiverr in the description of this video, along with my discount code for you. Oh, and I will also share a link directly to the freelancer that I used for this editing project so that you can use her if you want to try outsourcing your photo editing. I started this process by going directly to the photography section on Fiverr, and there is an entire category for photo editing. Then I narrowed it down to portrait retouching because I wanted someone who specialized in that. And then I just browsed through the many options that I had until I found one that spoke to me. Here are the things that I was looking for. I wanted someone who would do more than just skin retouching. I wanted color grading and potentially cropping. The photos that I chose for this project are meant to be stylized, something that you may see in a fashion magazine rather than a more natural looking portrait that I may want for family portraits or high school graduation photos. So I was looking for photos in each freelancer's portfolio that matched up to that. And I paid special attention to how the skin looked. There are different styles of skin retouching. I wanted my skin to look like skin, but because these photos are stylized, I wanted the skin to still be smooth. And then I found Sasha R. The skin smoothing in her photos is actually a little more smoothed than I initially wanted, but I really liked her overall style. And so I chose to go with her. She offers different packages to choose from, as most freelancers do, and I liked the standard package. Five photos, full retouching with two revisions so that if I wanted changes, they could be made, plus commercial use. Since I am using these for my business, this video, <laughs> that was important to me. Plus, this price just couldn't be beat. 
My idea here was to get to know Sasha's style and see if I want to use her in the future for new projects. I saw, by the way, that she offers discounts for bulk orders, so the price of $5 per, fo per photo that I paid could potentially be less for an entire project. Anyway, because I want to see Sasha's style on my own photography, I chose five photos from different projects. And then when you hire Sasha, you fill out a questionnaire with questions like, how much skin retouching you would like? What style you're looking for? Basically any guidance at all that you want to provide. I provided very little guidance. I said medium skin retouching and that I was open to seeing whatever Sasha wanted to do with the images. Basically because she is the specialist in photo editing, I wanted to see her thoughts and how they may differ from what I did when I edited the photos years ago. Let's take a look at what Sasha R came up with. Number one is one of my favorite projects where I modeled myself into a droid. In this image that I edited, you can probably guess that C-3PO was my inspiration. Raymond and I cut into a paper backdrop to create a spaceship-like environment in the studio. But when you look at the original photo, you can see that the backdrop ends over on the right. And the photo needed some color grading to become otherworldly. And this is what Sasha came up with. Where I went quite golden with my color grading, she went with a warm look, which I actually really like. Plus, no surprise, her skin retouching is stellar, and it made the highlighting that I did on my face with makeup and lighting really come to life, so to speak, considering that I was pretending to be a droid. But I was surprised to see that she didn't crop the image. And then I realized that I hadn't given her any context on this image. She didn't really know what my goal was or what the story was behind the image. So I could have used a revision to ask her for a crop, but for the purposes of this video, I just decided to crop it myself. But this was a really good lesson that you do need to provide guidance to the freelancer if there is something specific that you want, like, hey, I want the background stand cropped out. On to photo number two. This is how I edited myself in this high fashion in the high desert project where I was stomping around in the dirt in high heels like a fashion model. And here is the original image. We did have really good lighting because of the moody clouds. And I chose this location specifically for the landscape. And I really didn't do a lot of editing on these. I kept this pretty natural. But then Sasha came up with this. She really leaned into the stormy clouds in the background. Where I went warm tones, she went cool tones. And I love it. What's interesting is that my skin is so much more smooth than I'm used to. So it's almost discombobulating to see myself like this. It's a style that I am just not used to seeing on myself. And it really works for this photo. The skin fades into the background and the darkness of my eyes and the hollows of my cheeks ends up giving me a more powerful and a little bit of a dark look. It's amazing what editing can do. For photo number three, here is the low key portrait in the studio that I edited. I was going for a fancy lady look. <laughs> I had been inspired by some photos that I saw that were taken backstage of some award show. Here's the original photo. It's a little underexposed and you can see a lot of space around me, including the edge of the backdrop here again. I believe that I didn't have Raymond's help on this one, so I set the camera up on a tripod and I included enough room around me to be able to move around while I was posing, knowing that I could just crop the images later on. And here's what Sasha R came up with. Like the last photo, she went with an overall cool toned look, which makes this look like a completely different backdrop, which is really neat and she corrected exposure and smoothed my skin. This is 
probably the other one where I could have requested a revision. I do think that my skin is more smooth than I would like, but because I didn't give Sasha almost any guidance, <laughs> it's not anything that she did wrong. It's simply why providing guidance is so important. And then like with the droid photo, she didn't crop the image. And in this case, I actually kind of like it. It makes this photo look like a behind the scenes or backstage image. I could certainly crop this, but I don't think it needs it. Okay, photo number four is a casual hanging out under the highway portrait. <laughs> this is how I edited the image. And this is the original. This was captured with a Sony camera, and I never like how Sony cameras handle my skin. I end up looking even more red than I do in real life, so I always have to edit these images quite a bit, at least in terms of color. And here's how Sasha handled it. Now this image was captured at a relatively high ISO sensitivity, so the image had grain. When a photo is a little noisy, which I actually like for this particular image, it matches the grittiness of the under the highway graffiti tunnel, it can be difficult for me to balance smoothing out my skin a little bit, but retaining the grain. And look at how beautifully Sasha handled it. Seriously, this photo would sell me right away on her. And not only does the smoothed out skin look right with the rest of the photo, she managed the color grading so nicely. I don't look like a tomato. And last, photo number five is from a project inspired by one of my favorite artists, Frida Kahlo. In this photo that I edited, you can see my pride and joy, <laughs> this flower crown that I made. Again, this was a self-portrait where I set the camera on a tripod. So when we look at the original image, I had lots of extra space around me to move around and make room for that tall flower crown. I got rid of that extra space in my edited image, but looking at Sasha's edit, not only did she completely change the color of the background, but she didn't crop the image. She left my entire body in, smoothing out the bra lines that I had on my back. And all of those things made the negative space work. Again, I could have advised her to crop the images in any way I wanted. I could have gone back and asked for a revision. But with Sasha's edits, I saw the photo in a different way. I am very happy with Sasha's work, and this project has made me comfortable outsourcing photos. Now I feel like the next time I capture some headshots, which I am due for some new ones, I'll just send them over to Sasha R with some guidance on skin and cropping and color. But I also wanna give her some room to use her editing expertise. It seems to me that I now have someone that I can create a relationship with and who I can go back to for future projects. It's a weight lifted off my shoulders, actually, not to sound dramatic, but now I think I can capture the photos, which is my specialty, and then I can trust Sasha to bring them to life using her specialty. And I could have done this same experiment, so to speak, hiring a freelancer to edit my photos for an entire photo project, be it something like the fashion magazine style photos that you saw in this video, or a wedding, or family portraits. There are many <laughs> freelancers that specialize in those larger projects and will take your thousands of photos from a wedding and turn them into a cohesive, pared down set for you to provide to your client. So I'm in. I don't wanna sound like a sales pitch. I'm not suggesting that you have to go hire a freelancer to edit your photos if you don't want to, but I am saying that trying it out has changed my mind. I don't know, maybe I'm maturing a little bit and seeing the practicality and the benefits of releasing some of the control over my photos to someone that specializes in editing or maybe it's the pain medication. I had back surgery earlier this week. Now the description of this video will have links to Fiverr and specifically to Sasha R as well. 
I also have a discount code for you there. If you hire Sasha R or any other freelancer for photo editing, let us know in the comments. I would love to start building relationships with these people. And obviously give your freelancer a shout out. Come on, they're doing hard work. And thank you again to Fiverr for sponsoring this project. It will change how I do things in the future and I wish I would have tried it sooner. But last, thank you for watching.